Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here with mjobmusic.com and today we're going to look at the Silverline Special paired with the FS10 foot switch and see how that can be really versatile for a gigging musician. One of the ways I earn my living is I travel all over the country playing at functions, weddings and private events. During these kind of performances I need access to a huge range of different guitar tones to cover a really wide range of songs throughout a set list. It has to be very diverse, but I like to try and do that with the minimal amount of equipment because it's quite easy to take loads of different amps and loads of pedals to cover these huge, huge set lists. But we can do all of this with the Silverline Special and the FS10 foot switch. Let's have a look how. The way I like to use the Silverline in conjunction with the FS10 foot switch is to imagine each of the banks is a different song. Now the Silverline itself has three banks of four. So there's four presets per bank, so that's 12 different sounds you can have. I like to view each one of these banks as an individual track. With the FS10 foot switch, you can actually store up to 128 presets. Once again, these are banked into groups of four, which gives us 32 banks. Now that could be 32 different songs where we could have four presets for each song. This is where I find this really useful. Okay, so let's start by dialing in some tones. Before we start, if you hold down foot switch number four, the unit goes into the chromatic tuner mode. This is really useful when you're gigging and you want to mute your signal or tune your guitar. Press the button again to go back to normal mode. The foot switch has four buttons and it has three different modes. So right now we're set on patch mode where each foot switch changes between a different patch in the amplifier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set patch number one with my first tone. So let's say the first one I'm going to program in is Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner. This is a track that gets played all the time at various weddings and functions by most function bands. All right, so the first tone I'm going to dial in is using the clean, bright voice with the 6v6 response. I'm going to put a spring reverb on, so that's the third light there on your effects with the reverb button selected. The ISF is all the way to the American side, and I'm keeping the EQ pretty straight for this. Because I'm using the clean bright channel, I've got the gain all the way up and I've got the volume about three quarters of the way up as well. So here's an example of that sort of clean, just broken up Leonard Skinner style tone. Okay, so I'm happy with that tone. Now I want to save it. To save the tone, I need to hold down the first foot switch and then hold it down again till it goes to store mode. The third light will be lit up. I want to press this button here and the screen will start flashing. This means now preset one is being selected for saving, so I will press that again, and I've now created that patch. So patch one in my first bank is my clean broken up tone. So now I wanna make a slightly crunchier tone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same patch and I'm gonna duplicate it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is while I'm in store mode, I'm gonna press that button again. But now I'm gonna press the bank up button to change this to number two. Then I'm gonna press store, and now I've duplicated that patch to position two. So if I go back to patch mode, which is the top LED, position one and two are both the same patch. So now I can start editing number two. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn this to the crunch channel, but keep the gain all the way down. I'm not gonna change anything else. I'm just gonna go straight back to store mode, save, make sure that's on number two, save it again. So now I have a clean, just broken up tone on patch one, and patch two is my crunchier tone. Okay, so now I'm gonna make an overdriven tone. So this is for the chorus, bit of a rocky moment in the track. So what I'm gonna do is the same thing. I'm gonna to come to my store mode. I'm gonna press save, bank up to number three, and duplicate that patch. So patch number three is now the same as patch number two. Here's where I can now do some more editing. So I'm already on the crunch channel. I'm just gonna push the gain up to about halfway. I'm not gonna do any more than that. I'm gonna check my tone. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that as a crunch, so I'm gonna save that patch. So once again, I'm gonna come down to store mode, make sure number three is selected. Once that flashes, I'll press that again. So now I've got three very different patches. I've got number one, which is my 
clean with its slight breakup. Number two, which is my crunch. Number three, which is my overdrive. So here's a rundown of those sounds. <laughs> Now I want to make a lead tone. So once again, we're going to go back into store mode and I'm going to use my overdriven tone as the basis. So I'm going to press save so that flashes. I'm going to bank up to patch number four and I'm going to save it there. So I've duplicated patch number three onto patch number four. Now to make my overdriven tone, I'm going to keep it the same. I'm going to keep on the crunch channel. I'm going to push the gain a little bit more. And I'm also going to make sure the volume is all the way up just so I get a little bit of extra boost. I'm going to come down here now and I'm going to save that again. So save that now to patch number four. What I also want to do is I also want to add a little bit of slapback delay. So I'm going to select the delay button, select my analog delay, which is my first up to my first LED, and I'm going to set the level and the rate pretty slow. Once I'm happy with the delay, I'm then going to click save again and save. So now I've got a lead tone with a little bit more gain than the previous one and a little bit of slapback delay should be a bit louder too, so here's what I've got. So I'm pretty happy with that as a lead tone, so I'm just going to save it again just to make sure that I've got that saved. One of the cool things with the foot switch is I can edit things in real time while I'm playing. So if I decide that I don't want my lead patch to have the slapback delay, all I have to do is hold the first foot switch to get to effects mode, which is the middle LED. Once this is selected, I can then press this foot switch to turn the delay off. When effects mode is selected, the LEDs at the top show me which of my effects are active. So foot switch number one controls the reverb, so I can turn my reverb on and off, my delay on and off, and my modulation on and off. Now I'm not using any modulation for this song, but if I wanted to, I could turn that off. If I hold this foot switch for the delay, it activates the tap tempo switch for the delay. So if I hold that down, this LED now is flashing in time with my delay. So if I tap tempo this quicker, that light speeds up. And if I go slower, it slows my delay down. I don't need to change that. So I'm just gonna come back into patch mode and reload my patch. So now I'm back to where I was. So I'm quite happy with those four banks. So I've got clean with a slight breakup, crunch, overdrive, and then overdrive with slapback delay for lead. All right, so once I'm happy with my four tones, I can come back to patch one, and now I'm gonna create a second bank. So I'm gonna hold the third foot switch, which says hold bank up, and that's gonna take me to preset five. That's because I had one selected. If I bank back down by holding the down switch, if I select number three, it automatically takes me up four banks. So if I do that again, I'm still on channel three or patch three, but patch number seven because I'm in the second bank. So I wanna go to number five, which is my first foot switch. This is my first preset of my second bank. So let's view this as the second song. So I'm gonna program in another tone, another track that most function bands play is Dakota by the Stereophonics. This is a cool one because it's got a nice modulated intro. So we're gonna program in a clean-ish flanger tone. So I'm already on my first patch of my second bank. So let's view this as four presets for my next song. So I'm going to program in my new tone now. So I'm going to use the crunch channel. Gain, I want to be quite moderate, so about halfway. I want quite a warm sound, so I'm going to bump the bass. ISF I'm keeping in the middle, and I'm engaging the KT88 setting. I'm going to put the modulation dial on, so I'm going to select that so it turns orange. The second light here is my flanger, and I've got the level up just over halfway. I've also got a spring reverb activated too. So let's check this tone out. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that, so I'm gonna save that now. So I'm gonna come back down to the store mode. Press save, make sure number five is flashing, and I'm gonna save. 
there's my first patch. So now that I've saved that, I'm gonna duplicate that and create my second sound. So I'm gonna press the store button, press up, to take that to six, and I'm gonna store again. So now I've got the same patch on number one and number two, which is five and six. So this tone, I wanna dial in a similar tone, but I don't want the flanger, but I want a bit of delay in there. So I'm gonna turn the flanger off and I'm gonna turn the delay on. So once I've selected the delay, I'm gonna go for an analog style delay. So I'm gonna put the second light there on. I'm gonna set it about here just to get a good feel. And I'm also gonna turn the gain down just a touch. So what I wanna do is I wanna change the length of the delay repeats. So I'm gonna save this patch first of all into patch number six. Then I'm gonna come into the effects mode. So that's the second LED here. And I wanna tap the foot switch here to get this to change tempo. So I'm first of all gonna hold that down to make sure the delay tap is enabled. Then I'm gonna tap this to get my tempo. So I want about that sort of speed. So I'm happy with that. So now I'm gonna come back down to store mode and I'm gonna save it. So now I wanna create a similar tone without the delay. So the easy way for me to do this is to come into store mode, save it first of all, bank up to number seven and click store. So now I've duplicated what was on number six into number seven. So now that I've duplicated number six into number seven, I wanna change the delay tone. So first of all, I'm gonna come into the effects mode and you can see the delay light is lit up. I'm just gonna turn that off. Then I'm gonna to come to store and I'm gonna save that into bank number seven. This is my slightly cleaner tone for the verse. So again, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just gonna save that again, just to make sure. Now I need to duplicate this patch into number eight. So I'm gonna bank up, so that's on eight, and I'm gonna save it again. And now I wanna create a higher gain tone. So using that as my basis, I'm just gonna crank the gain and I'm gonna go onto the Super Crunch channel. So let's just push this a little bit more and let's check this tone. This will be my chorus tone. So I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna save that as well. Make sure that's saved in bank number eight. So once again, eight is selected, that's stored. So now I have four distinctive settings for this song. Let's run through those patches. So we've got the first patch, which is number five now because this is the second bank. This is my just off clean flanger tune. <laughs> My second patch, which is number six, is gonna be my cleanish lead tone with a little bit of delay. My third patch, which shows up as number seven now because this is the third one of my second bank, this is my slightly cleanish verse tone. And the final patch, which is my fourth patch, which shows up as number eight. This is my heavy chorus tone. So as you can see, you can apply this logic to any song you want. If you think of the tones you need for a song, and you can break that down into four essential tones, you can create up to 32 banks using the foot switch. This makes the Silverline Special a great amp for a gigging musician. You've got a bunch of effects built in. So you've got phaser, flanger, chorus and tremolo, four different delay types and four different reverb types, coupled with six 
different voices and tube responses and the ISF, you can pretty much dial in an entire set's worth of tones just with the amp and the foot switch alone. So this makes it a fantastic tool for gigging function musicians. If you're someone like me who really needs a lot of tones for one gig, this is a great combination. All you need is the amp, your guitar, and the FS10 foot switch, and you can pretty much program your entire set list into their 32 songs, four patches for each song, that's 128 different sounds, all in a tiny foot switch like this. And it's got a tuner as well. There you go, there are some fun tips on dialing in some tones on the Silverline Special with the FS10 foot switch. The settings for the two tracks that I've covered in this video are gonna be in the written section of this lesson, so please head over to Blackstar Potential on the Blackstar website to check that out. And don't forget to go and subscribe and check out Blackstar on YouTube for more free videos like this where we dig into different amps and different tones. If there's anything you'd like to see any of the Blackstar amps doing, such as the Silverline or the HT20, please let us know in the comments. If it's any artists or any type of use that you'd like us to talk about, please let us know. And if you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, don't forget to check out mgrmusic.com. We've got a network of great teachers all over the UK. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon.